Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a um, top five favorites spring palettes um, for 2018. Some of these are um, not from 2018. They didn't release in 2018, but I still think they're like amazing uh, spring palettes. So let's get into the video. First palette I wanted to talk about is of course the Zulu by Juvia's Place palette. This I did make a video of this um, earlier about a couple months ago uh, regarding this palette. I absolutely love this palette so much. It's amazing. It's beautiful. The colors are gorgeous of course. You can see you got that nine pan palette. Big pans. Super amazing pigment and they're absolutely affordable too so that makes it even better you can see that all the colors are very spring like you got that yellow in there you got you know your greens your turquoise your nice blue color and then you got some deeper shades like the redder like the berry colors down here which you can also add because it's not like completely summer yet so it's a good transition uh, palette into the um, spring season so this one is the Zulu palette next palette I want to talk about is the NYX I love you so mochi palette these are so much fun to play with oh my god it's so weird because they're like putty formula you know you got the weird whatever damn it I mix the color yeah, they're super cute. You know, you got the nice um, colors in here for spring. I love this color because it's like a dual chrome. It's like an iridescent color. It looks white, but then if you swatch it, it's like comes off as a nice like fluorescent. It's like a blue purpley undertone to it. And I absolutely love that. It's perfect for like the inner corners or topping your eye off eye look off so I think it's super cute and I think this is all of the colors in here like the berry the turquoise the yellow the baby blue this nice like orangey peachy color is perfect for spring <coughs> I'm dying but I think this is one I had to make this on my list for my top five favorite spring palettes so this one's good. Next, I'm going to talk about the infamous, the newish palette, the Creepy Cute palette. I'm currently wearing this on my eyes. I use all of the um, the colors that are on my eyes in this palette. This palette is amazing. I love it. The pigment is wonderful. These come with eight shadows four on the top four on the bottom and it comes with a mirror on the top which i absolutely love so this palette has like all pastel all matte colors which you either love or you hate some people really don't like the fact that they're all matte and they want like a shimmer shade some people don't even like pastels in general i absolutely love pastels and these are pigmented for pastels because most of the time some pastels can be a little bit like sheer, not as, you know, buildable, but these are absolutely buttery and pigmented and I love it. Definitely worth the buy. I think it was like 30 something for the palette and I got it like right when it came out. I had to have this and I think this is definitely a staple in the collection, especially for springtime because it has all of those spring colors and then of course I used this black today to uh, smoke out my lower lash line and I used this blue today on the center of my lids and I used this in the crease and I think this is just absolutely adorable for spring. It's perfect and I definitely think it's worth it. Next I got the Too Faced white chocolate palette so this is a very controversial palette some people don't like it because they think that it's very chalky I'm not saying that I disagree with that I think some of the colors are chalky but not all of them 
I love the smell of it. There you go. It's got that nice mirror in there, of course. Got the nice cool little candy design. You got those colors right here. You know, I like how in Too Faced Palace they have like the nice like more transition shade type of like brow bone shades bigger in the palette because obviously you're going to use more of them. I think that this palette is very spring-like. You got the very nice peachy tones, you got the mint green, the pop of lavender, you got the black to smoke out any look that you want to do. These I'm definitely obsessed with. They're so versatile. You know, and then you got of course like the neutrals, the rest are neutrals. And some of them are shimmer, shum, 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 some are matte, and I think that it's just a perfect palette for the springtime, and the color scheme is very spring-esque, and I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, the palette itself is very, it's good. The price, I really didn't like the fact that it was, you know, um, mm, $50, yeah, so, you know, $50 for this palette, well, it was technically $49, but, you know, $50 for a palette like this, Too Faced is one of those brands where it's a hit or miss. I'm not saying that I like every single product that I've, that Too Faced has released, but they do have good quality products, and I hear that they are, you know, changing their formula out a little bit with, like, coconut or cocoa something instead of, like, coconut, no, I don't know, it was a cocoa butter, but this is cocoa powder, like, infused essence or whatever, and it smells super good, so. Alright, I'm rambling. Next. Alright, so this last palette for um, the top five spring palettes. I wanted to do the Pastel Goth Kat Von D, but I have lent it to my friend, and she has yet to return it to me. You know who you are, bitch. But I really want to do the full video now. So I picked out my second best, and that is the, after I just did a rant on Too Faced, Too Faced clover palette this was a limited edition palette i don't know if it's still available or not i knew i know that they do um have a liquid lipstick like their melted latex lipstick that is that goes with this and it's like a super like nice like ro dusty rose color i do actually really want that i think it's super cute and look at this packaging it's adorable i love it and i think that these has the mirror in there, you got, you know, all of your spring shades, and you have the, I'm still kind of holding on to winter, but I'm still want to transition into spring type shades, you got, shit, you got like that, you got the yellow, the nice, like, orchid purple, you got the green, you got the white, this nice duochrome color right here, which is like that brownish, blue color you got the baby blue you got some nice berry colors over here and the of course the neutrals i think this palette is amazing for spring i do you know think this was a good substitute because my pastel goth is mia but this would be a very good palette it does retail for the same as the white chocolate palette which was the 49 and change this is the clover palette and um i do really like this and i think that for spring it's really important to incorporate pastels like into your look because it just lightens up your you know your whole entire vibe you know what i'm saying and i think it's super cute i think all of them are wonderful I can't really pick a favorite. I mean, of course, Juvia's Place formulas are all t my all-time favorite formula. And going on affordable, Too Faced ones would be the most expensive. The most affordable palette out of the collection was the Too Faced, the Too Faced, the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. This is the most affordable one. 
And then second most affordable, it was like, I think it was like $30. It was a high price for NYX, especially because they are kind of like a drugstore brand. The Mochi palette is the second cheapest. Now that middle, creepy cute, 38, 35, something like that. I don't remember the exact price. On Strobe Cosmetics, I forgot to mention the Strobe Cosmetics. And super cute. This is, you know, between, it's that nice indie brand between like high end, very high end luxury and drugstore. It's a nice middle, medium. And of course, the Too Faced palettes are the most expensive ones out of my list of top five spring palettes. But they are really super cute. And I think the packaging's great. There are some really great staple formulas and staple colors in these that are perfect for springtime. So, that is my video for today. I hope you guys really like that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. My name is Sydney. If I didn't say that, I said that already. My bad. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are. Love you. Bye.